all anglers know that feeling. You set your hook and the fish doesn't move and you're like, oh, this is a good one. And then it starts to swim. And you say to yourself, please let me land this fish. Those are the ones I call not testers. Okay, whatever this is, is pretty nice. I'm not gonna be able to land it. Get it to the boat, catfish. Big largemouth, I want to try to keep it out of there because I think there's some snags over there. Come on up here, come on up, come on up, come on up. Come on up, come on up, come on up, come on up. Come on up, come on up. Come on up, 10 pound test, main line, eight pound monofilament, 16th ounce jig, two inch bait, has hooked me into something pretty nice. I just don't know what. Much rather keep it out in the middle of the, towards the middle of the lake. I'd like to see it. I'm thinking catfish. But it's gonna be a big one, I think. if I could get him to shore or not but we're gonna sit here and play with him and that was a whirl from him but I didn't see him come on out here yeah go out here for me where are we going where are we going Don't want to put too much pressure on him. Keep it off the front of the boat. No, 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 come this way, come this way, come this way. I want about another 60 feet. Oh, it's wrapped around the rod tip. Get off the rod tip. Get off the rod tip. Get off the rod tip. There we go. Is he still there? Yeah. I mean, Osprey probably won him, whatever he is. Oh, it's wrapped around the rod tip again. Get off of there. Get off of there. There's my leader right there, so I'm only five feet a line out, probably. I'm not sticking my hand down there, but I'm almost to shore. Again, I'm thinking of big catfish. Nope. I think I just saw a glimpse of him. And there's the leader again. Get off of there. Um, it might be. And if it is, I've never caught one before. And I've seen them. I think it's a carp. I think I've got my first carp. 
the way he's fighting staying down I've been wanting to catch a carp who's going to tire out first you or me that is a carp that is a huge common carp on the end of that line oh my gosh yes buddy yes buddy he wouldn't fit in my net come on line where I can stand up I think don't let go of the rod he's running like crazy get this off of here we're gonna try to fight this fish on land now okay come here buddy Loosen the drag so he could, I could get the boat to shore. Come on. Turn your head this way. Turn your head this way. Come on. There's a whirl. All right. Nope, nope, nope. We're getting the stick out of the way. Getting that stick out of the way. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Put that up there so I can maybe measure him, I don't know. I wish, actually my scale's in the car, I can run back to the car and get it, but I don't want to lose him. Come here, and I'm not putting the rod in the rod holder because I don't have my rod leashes. That is a huge carp. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Oh my gosh, you're freaking huge. Huge. Ultra light carp. Ultra light carp. Oh my gosh. That's the bait that was in that fish's mouth. Alright, we gotta get. Ten point three pounds. Okay, so to be completely honest with you, I had been thinking for a little while that I would come down to this spot, sit on the bank, and put together a little series on my quest to catch a carp. I was looking up some things in different times. What kind of bait do I want to use for carp? What do I want to use? Go out there today, hook into one, probably you know, 100 feet offshore, or at least 100 feet from where I am, fought it for I don't know how long, because my rod was an ultra light rod. 10 pound braid on a size 1000 reel, eight pound monofilament leader, 1 16th ounce jig with one of those sexy tail shads, or the sexy shad by Arky. I'm telling you, I couldn't be happier right now. I can't believe I was able to land that fish. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Again, can't believe I did it. Until next time, tight lines. Nice 25, 26 inch common carp. Time to let you go. You good? Huh? You good?